Do you know why the Mexican man threw his wife off the cliff? <laughs> I wish I was above the center of attention, but I'm not I wish I didn't have to give in to the pressure, uh oh I'm posting pictures, trying to be someone I'm not It feels just like I'm lying to you I fake it, stage it, trying to live some perfect life I know I'm wasting time Cause I just wanna call my friends and see what they're doing tonight It doesn't have to be so special I try to be myself, you do the same and we'll be alright So the plan is to come to the island, my favorite place, Tioman Island, to visit some friends, to do some scuba diving, hiking perhaps, and to make a short series for the channel. I'm to stay for about a month and schedule to live together with friends from the city who will be here for a weekend of diving. Two weeks into my fabulous time here, the Malaysian government declared the movement control order due to the COVID-19 coronavirus and the whole country is being locked down. Most businesses apart from essential services may not operate. Transportations are held and everyone is advised to stay put, stay home and stay safe. The ferry to and from the island shuts down. I am officially stranded on the island and have absolutely no idea when I'm able to get back to the mainland. I do know this that I will be safe. By now, most tourists have already left the island. The only people remaining are the locals and those who work here. There has been no report of COVID cases at all on the island. I've been living at the dive center for about a month together with everyone. We all know the fact that none of us got infected and we are safe being among each other. After all, the only thing we have are each other, supporting one another to get through this pandemic and also time, lots of it, where we get to start small projects here and there to fill up our productive days. Never ever in my adult life have I ever actually cut a whole chicken before. If what over here is gonna teach me how to cut and prepare the whole chicken. Ooh. Look at that. Chef Adam. Wow, you're a pro now. Yeah. Excellent. You are a good kitchen. I like drumstick. So a perfect drumstick. Wow. <laughs> so there you go guys, my first attempt of cutting the whole chicken from my chicken drumsticks. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy this. My palm is so painful. <laughs> Let's have some fun today. Me and Mikhail is going to attempt to make nasi lemak. So please do follow us on our Instagram and Facebook story. We're going to season the chicken with some salt, pepper, some flour. It has uh, onion, garlic, chilies in it. A lot of love. The most important part of the dish is, of course, the rice. Our first attempt of uh, nasi lemak. Woo! Oh, it's amazing, bro. At least two kilos in here. At least. The rice is so fragrant. I've never had anything like it in the world. In the world. I 
Are you enjoying it so far? Yes, but after I know there is a snake, I don't enjoy my my day here. There's a snake appeared in our, in front of our in front of our room. Cobra King, King Cobra. <laughs> How's your stay on the island so far? You don't want to go back to school and study? No. no. Why not? I don't want. I'll find you can teach. Basically, everybody knows him, right? Michael. He is now with our master. It's been a tradition here at the NJ for, for about 30 years that the divers once they they get certified, they get a name and a name that kind of represents their behavior, character and so on. Now you're looking at leadership. So they, they, they gotta give you a name of a of a fish that kind of represents a mean, lean machine. You're really enthusiastic about diving, you love it. Whenever there's a chance, you go out there. You do your job. You know, you have big schools of barracudas. You know, those are the big boys. And then sometimes you got those small yellow tail hanging in the back. That's you. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yellow tail, but you know, luckily they grow, so they get bigger. Do you know why the Mexican man threw his wife off the cliff? <laughs> the holy water is at the gate. Are you ready? Guys, come on, we have been Guys. together for a number of months. Please stand closer. Number of months? Stand closer. Yeah, yeah two. Month, two months. Or three. Yeah. Stand closer. Yeah, Do we have everybody here? Jump, 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 jump. Wait, Ben's got a light. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Tristan. Tristan. Oh, yeah, come on. Yeah. Yeah. The day has finally come. After hours and hours prepping of documentations and several visits to the police station, we have been granted permission to go home. We truly enjoyed our time here on the island. The moment we spend together, the things we get to do here and the kinship we have built over the months are just so valuable and memorable. I am not going to lie. The feeling of uncertainty lingers within all of us all this time. There are so many variables that we do not know. What's to come on days ahead of us? It's a bittersweet situation having to leave the island that has been our home for the past three months. All of these wonderful moments are only made possible by the sole generosity of the dive centre and resort. We are all too well taken care of during special time like this. Too well that I sometimes feel guilty having to receive such heartwarming gesture from people whom I consider family. A very big shout out to Ben and Martin for providing more than what we needed in order to keep everyone safe and secure. You guys are the heroes to all of us. To everyone whom we shared moments in time on the island, the past few months shall forever be in our memories and heart. We took care of each other and came out on the positive side of this pandemic. I'm back home now, tucked in a comfort that was once very familiar to me. But I long for the days at paradise that I've become accustomed to.